If you've seen any of my Apex gameplay, you may have noticed my Q is actually right alt, and I use mouse 2 as forward. Crazy config, right? And if I showed you the keys right now, you'd be super confused. But what if I told you it was actually a very logical config? It might actually be close to the best you can get. As in, this could probably improve your gameplay. And if not the entire config, parts of it might actually help you. Basically, you can use whatever keys you want. The goal is to be as free as possible, not hindered. Like, would you bind strafe left and strafe right to the same finger? If you're on default, your strafe right is D. Would it free up your movement to change that to strafe left, and then put strafe right on F? You would be strafing left and right with the index finger. Is that better or worse? The answer is worse. Because you couldn't do super fast changes in direction. And that's the reason why my forward is on mouse 2. Because you're meant to dodge in all directions, not just left and right. So while you're using middle finger to move forward and back, I'm using middle finger to move back with my left hand, and middle finger on my right hand to move forward on the mouse. I've made a lot of great aimers miss because of my dodging ability, and as they say, you can't argue with results. That said, I'm not the best player, but imagine if the best player had this advantage too. And that's the point of a logical, free config. It's to unlock your potential. That doesn't quite explain why I'm using right alt as my cue though. It's actually pretty simple. You could make this change right now, and not have to feel like you're getting used to a whole new config. All I did was move my fingers from ASDF over to FGHJ. That's it, it's that simple. Move your config over to the middle of the keyboard, because it'll give you access to more keys. See, my idea was that the thumb was really underused in game. Some people learn to press these other keys with their thumb, but I don't trust myself to be accurate enough in a pressure situation. So I thought, okay, how do I get an extra key? Well, move it over. And now your thumb can press spacebar and right hold. Then you just have to figure out what to bind those to, that will still be free. My ADS or zoom key is spacebar. Why? Because I already have forward on mouse too, and I need a key that won't interfere with my movement. So you still want to be able to dodge while you're aiming down sights. You could say use space for jump, but it's a big key, as in physically big. And in Quake, you jump a lot. There is no way I'm going to constantly hammer a big loud key like that, especially when I was living with other people. It would have kept them awake all night. It's better to have that as something you hold. And then you just move your thumb a bit, and you can press right alt for the ability. There are so many extra commands needed in Apex, like putting your gun away or punching someone. But before I get into the extras, let me show you the basic layout for the config. Movement is all in a row plus mouse. So F, G, H, J is jump, left, back, right. Then I have a few extras on the mouse like interact and ultimate. Inventory and map aren't super important so I put them on top. Then I have weapon related commands close to my movement keys. R, T, Y, U, I. That's holster, weapon 1, 2, reload and grenades which means I can't strafe left and change to primary weapon instantly, but I just strafe right when I need to change to that weapon, so I'm okay with that. You're never going to have complete freedom. You just have to try to minimize things like that. And then below, you'll see all my heals are in a row. They're underneath my movement keys. I can get to whatever heal I need almost instantly. They're here, from B over to period. So essentially, I've just put them in three categories and all on each row. Top row for weaponry, middle row for movement, bottom row for heals. And then around those are the extras. My punching key is set to page down, because on the Extrify MZ1 mouse, after it's set up, the top button becomes page down. So you just bind page down in game, and then you can use that top button. And I use it to punch people. I use mouse 3 to toggle the zoom. I used to use it for punching people, but in Apex, to get the most out of the movement, I've had to bind the mouse ball up and down to forward and jump. And I kept punching the air, literally. So I changed those binds around. So if I press the wheel too hard now, it just tries to toggle the zoom. No issue. That's an example of changing your config to allow more freedom, and to avoid hindering your gameplay. Now, the one movement key that is a bit of an issue in Apex is crouch. In Quake, I never had to crouch too much. So that's why I put it under jump. Chances were that if I was jumping, I wasn't crouching, or I could do it fast enough. In Apex, crouch sliding is super important. Thankfully, having the jump on the mouse wheel means I can easily jump and crouch still. So to me, that's a little bit messy, but that's Apex for you. It also has an amazing ping system too. I couldn't bind them all, but I chose the main three. Enemy here, going here, and of course the main ping. Enemy here is next to my jump, Going here is between inventory and map, and main ping is next to my strafe right. They're all just outside of my main config area, so easy enough to press. And I can ping while fighting, I just can't jump, and I usually only tell team I'm going somewhere when I'm not actually in a fight. So yeah, my config looks crazy and weird, I know, but I've never liked default configs. 
Look at the default config in Quake 2, where I started. It makes no sense. You have strafe on comma and period, and it's still using arrow keys to move around. So I was forced to create a config that did make sense to me, and I messed up a lot. I had to change keys around the better I got, because I realized it was actually holding me back. Each change was about a month of practice to play at my best again. I've already had to rearrange my keys in Apex multiple times, and in such an unforgiving game, I died a lot because of having to relearn the keys. But now I'm moving and playing freely. I'd argue this is one of the best configs around. Does it make sense now? Movement row, heals row, weapons row, forward on the mouse so I can change direction instantly, and the extra keys on the mouse and around that config. Simple. I'm not making this video to say you should change, but at least keep these principles in mind. Is your config hindering you? Are you able to move freely? Can you ping things for your team during battle? Can you use abilities on the fly? If the answer is yes, then you're all good. But if you're using the same finger to move forward and back, well, that's a problem. Makes you an easy target for people shooting you from the side. Hope that helps. Usual links below. Check out the Extrify MZ1 wireless if you're looking for a new mouse. Sub, like, and share, and I'll catch you in the next.